sweet. <laughs> Hello and welcome for some RimWorld. Uh, today I uh, set up a little custom scenario. You'll see the uh, the names of all the people that are in um, WASD up here. And I'm playing a little, uh, let's call it like a survival games, but we're all working together and we're all trying to survive the harsh world of the future. Um, what was I going to do? Okay, so let's unpause. And I'm going to do this hardcore, so if anybody loses a limb or dies, then that's it. Right? Uh, they're dead forever. But I, I set up the scenario quite nicely where at least a few of us will have pistols. So hopefully none of us will die, but there's I'm making no promises. Um, right off the bat, I saw this little like structure here, and we're going to make that our temporary base. I'm going to put some uh, furniture in here. Some wood furniture, if we have wood, we do. Because we don't want to get too fancy with it just yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're all going to be sleeping together in one terrible little structure. Should we use steel doors or just wood doors? We'll do wood doors. Hunter lacks weapons. Okay, so we will... Are we going to have to um, undo all these? And I think... Let's, I, I randomized a lot of this, so... Uh, Alpha Step is not good with guns. I am good with guns, so I guess I'll put one on him. Not good with guns. Sort of good with guns. Better with guns on that one. So our three best shooters will be um, the guys with pistols. And the other ones will end up with plastic shivs. Sorry, Alpha. Or uh, Will for your two. Actually, I think we have, yeah, we have one more. One more pistol. We can undo this, and we can undo that, and we can free up that so we can actually build the uh, stuff. We need to get started on all the uh, the things. And we have a monkey called Java. It's fine. <laughs> like I said, I randomed a lot of the stuff, so... It's as much a surprise to me as it is to you guys. I randomized the... Um, Oh, we got uh, Jean uh, building the beds. Dynamite's building the beds. Uh, right now we need to... I guess we'll need to work on... A, I don't know why I keep pausing. It's like a habit. <laughs> I did that when I was... Okay, so we're going to do a nice... We need like a big area for, for this. But we need to start it. A big, big area for food. Just to get it started off. And we will end up having to hunt the first few bits. We can put a uh, that in there and hook it up to a battery. Just doing all the basic stuff right now. We need uh, an electric stove and a butcher's table in here. And when we move the beds out, we can do a bit more. As far as that goes, we can have more things in here and have the the places where we sleep up in other places. Uh, so, Shade is cutting down trees to help with that. Do we actually have anybody who can... We have one person who wardens. Three people who are growers, that's good. I don't think we have any empty slots here. Research and all that is fine. Okay, so... We we got food. Food's very good. Uh, defenses also pretty good, but this is what we need to destroy here. We can maybe mix it up our power a little bit here for a second. Get solar and the the uh, furnace going, so we can have power through the day and then power through the night. Shade still. Toiling away on the fields, even though we have three people who are growers. I can turn the speed up a little bit so we're not like waiting on things. So we we're in kind of a big open area, but the areas where they can come in through here, 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 here. 
we can like create little um, defense posts. And I keep pausing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, we do we even have. We need a stockpile. We should put a stockpile someplace. Zone area, stockpile up here. And then people start moving things in here. Uh, there's some steel, which is always nice. I think we sent, you know, we sent people out to deconstruct it and they did. We really should be planting our stuff here, but if we get too close to here, then the raiders will just pop out right on top of us and uh, that's not the best <laughs> so we're gonna start off in the middle maybe um, I mean a lot of people they like dig into a mountain and live in the mountain but I'm gonna do maybe an open air sort of thing because this is not I don't remember what difficulty I put it on some rough or base builder that should be fine but playing in hardcore mode means that if someone dies then they're well, I'm not playing it in hardcore mode, but I'm playing it in a pseudo hardcore mode where if someone dies, even me, they're just dead. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna play it. Shade Frost still working on that. We got our generator going actually. Making power, is that actually giving power to the thing? No. Get somebody to connect that up there real quick. And actually put a light in. So I guess the uh, we need. I guess we we can have people cut down some more wood so we can build some better housing for people. Just clear off the entire area out this way with wood. Build like a set of wood wooden houses down this way. I guess if I if I'm doing that, then we may as well just cut down. Cut down then this way. Chop wood, all this right here. Chop all that down. Build all because um, they get a thing called disturbed sleep if they're sleeping with, and especially six people sleeping in the same little hut. And we can actually move the beds around. So Java is. Uh, monkeying around. No, well, pun definitely intended there, to be honest with you. All our growers are growing. We got steel, so what we need now is maybe a few defenses. I keep pausing and I don't need to. Um, hmm, a few little defense points here and there. Just something that we can get behind and shoot at things. And then we'll put one here on the corner. They make a little corner piece down this side. Right. And we don't have we don't have we don't have the uh, the turrets, so we can't put those in. So our defenses will be our guns, and we don't have any choke points to put the deadfall traps on. So it will be just us shooting at things. So since we're sleeping, we can fast forward. We've already built the defenses already, really quickly. Um, uh, what am I doing? We need. Uh, I don't. We should. Should we do sarcoph sarcophaguses for all our guys? Just have. <laughs> just as like a an omen, we'll have like all of our bodies. Well, when when we do it, I'll put it like because we don't want to waste our steel right now. We'll all bury, we'll bury each other in sarcophaguses should it need be that way. See, so disturbed sleep, joy deprived, urgently hungry. Oh, they're getting food. Okay, so we started, started growing things, which we need to do like immediately because the uh, survival meals do not last very long. On top of that, we need to, um... We actually need to maybe uh, build the, a uh, cooler first, which we can do very easily. Build a nice cooler, I guess, down this way. We'll uh, cancel the doors and the cooler parts here. 
Because we'll need to um, power, string the power down this way and across down this way. Or through the door. Let's go through the door. Well, what the cooler will do will mean that we can um, have food longer. So if we kill, if we chop up some meat, it won't. What was that? If we chop up some meat, it won't last. If we chop up meat, it won't last a day unless we have a cooler. And if we get it nice and if we set the target um, temperature to uh, like 32 degrees, then it'll freeze. I put the doors in. Doors, doors, floors, all that biz buzz. And hopefully they'll uh, cut the trees in the process. Who knows? Yeah, they will. Okay. And we need to... Unless there's... There's gotta be a, a zone. Build roof area. There's already a roof on that. So I gotta build a roof over this. Make a stockpile zone only for food. Make sure we do that real quick. Storage. Clear all, only food. So now, whenever we, when we get potatoes, we'll put it in the freezer. When we get um, anything, we'll put it in the freezer. And the freezer will keep it indefinitely. As long as it's frozen, there's no heat wave. Heat waves kind of screw that up. And uh, um, what's this called? The solar flares. They shut down the coolers and screw that up. We don't have enough steel, it seems. And lucky us, there's uh, <laughs> there's iron or steel right here. So we're going to start cutting that away. Components are going to be harder to come by unless we have a um, compacted uh, machinery somewhere. Which is like how you get to... Oh yeah, we do. So we'll start mining a bit of this. You don't need a whole lot of components, which is why they're a bit rare. But we need to get that. Um, we need to get the cooler going. We already have the components. We just need the steel. We can set the target temperature to 30, le a little bit less than 32, so it keeps it a bit cooler than 32, like 28. I usually put it at like 28 or 25. Right, uh, as long as the coolers are going, then we can actually start doing some serious, uh, uh, hunting now. 28, and these will be frozen, yes, okay, so now we can start hunting, chopping up stuff, add a bill for butchery. And we'll have a, oops, we can do this for the night. Uh, a dumping stockpile zone is where you keep, you store the like stone and um, dead bodies when you see them. A chunk of spacecraft is landed nearby. We definitely need to deconstruct those bad boys. Okay, so now we got that going. We want to... We want to keep corpses out. Yeah, we need one for corpses. Dumping stockpile zone here. Oops. Dumping stockpile zone. I guess we'll keep it just right outside. Because they won't stay too long, hopefully. As long as things go right. No chunks, only corpses. And we'll start, we start hunting down these uh, squirrels and rats at first and then we'll move up to bigger game because if you piss off the bigger game sometimes they fight back and that's probably not something we want right now. <laughs> not the best. Build complete? Oh, right. Do forever. Indefinitely. And then we want to make simple meals and do them until you have... We want a good... We got six people to start with, so we need quite a few meals to start with. 
I got my pistol out and I'm shooting rats and squirrels. And we got our very basic defenses set up. So we need to uh, start working on the uh, housing, I guess, real quick. We've struck compacted steel. Yeah, I, I know that. Oh, well, there's more stuff here. That's good. <laughs> oh, more survival meals. What? Where are all these things coming from? Okay, uh... What are we... We start building that. Visitors. Goodwill's Valley. <laughs> Who are the factions? I didn't actually look. Baker Stream. Ingo Krika Bringa. Dart Society and the Bomb Men. So like, when you start, you're always at odds with the, the pirate faction, no matter what, because they just sort of, you know, want to kill you. Um, we don't really need to make those that big. The rooms, uh, I guess we could make them pretty big. But we have, we got, I guess we got six people. So let's do maybe a little bit of that. Is that too big? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Let's cancel these real quick. Because we don't need the, the rooms to be too terribly big. We need it big enough that people won't complain, but I think they're just going to be a bunch of complainers. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Let's do a little bit of symmetry. Symmetry can go a long way. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Inside. Boom. Is that right? Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Three, four, five, go. Bang, 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 bang. One, two, three, four, five, go. Bang, 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 bang. Get some beds going. Oh, hello, ladies. They're all, all of them, ladies. None of them have anything to trade. One of them has a, a shiv. Some kind. A mace, a wooden mace. Put um, floors in on this place here real quick. All the way down. Cost. There we go. So once we get all these set up here, looks like we'll have enough space for it actually. Shouldn't mind this. Do a little mining so we can actually have a nice symmetry here. Of all our beds, all the original members' beds here, because we'll end up with more. Uh, me and Alpha don't have anything to do. I can't do, or I don't do mining, growing. Can I construct? Can I build things? Yeah? Okay. Put me on the build list. And the repair list. Alpha is not doing anything because he can't construct can't really construct he's not a hunter we only have him on plant cutting <laughs> cooking bed rest doctoring which apparently he's really good at as well as dynamite that's fine so I put me on the construction list so I can actually get busy doing stuff here and we can actually move uh, I guess we'll uh, string the power down this way String the power down into each of these here. I'm not sure I'm doing that efficiently, but it's fine. It's fine in my book. We I'll put lights in, obviously. I got it on full speed, so I think there'll only be one more night where we have to uh, sleep in sleep in this weird sweaty pile in the middle here. 
<laughs> not not the best situation there. We haven't had any raids yet, but I, I say that I'm gonna curse myself for wood wood plant pots. Bang. A little potted plant in each each room. <laughs> Um, we don't need anything fancy just at the moment, just a blank room with nothing in it. Um, we can actually have people do... What are you doing there, uh... Shade Frost. Just doing some stargazing. That's something we need right now. We need, um... A little horseshoe thing out front. That goes a ways too, um... When you add things like, um... From the Joy section, it cuts back on their... Um, well, everyone else's need to, like, do other things other than, so, like, they'll be playing horseshoes and do that for, like, half the amount of time they would do if they were, like, stargazing or going for a walk or meditating. So, having joyful things to do is always pretty good. So, we're gonna put, well, horseshoes, horseshoes is fine to start with put these guys on the hunt list. Got a little bit of rat meat. Start hunting down these rabbits. Java is sleeping in the freezer. I don't know if he likes the, the cool cool air in the freezer or not. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyways. Uh, actually I think we'll stop it right there. Um, if you like what you see and if you wanna if you wanna take any guesses as to who will die, um, even if it's me, say it in the comments. I, d I don't know. I really have no idea who's gonna lose, but or who's gonna die first. Or even if anybody's gonna die in a reasonable amount of time, but uh, I'll see you guys later.